Nisa Bulavinaka and uh, thank you very much. A wonderful words of welcome. It's a pleasure for me and my team with the Japanese uh, High Commissioner to be here. And uh, once again I'd like to say a big Binaka Bakalevu to the Vanua and the elders giving us this welcome reception. As I sat here, or as, as I walked in, um, we were met with smiles. And I think that's the best way to start any day. So thank you for the beautiful Kandavu smile. You've really lifted the spirit of us. When, when we were planning to come to Kandavu, we had looked at various options. One was to take a boat and come and visit all that. The next was to bring His Excellency here. So the most convenient was for us to fly him here. And he agreed. Um, since he's new to Fiji in his role, he gladly agreed that we will come here today, and here we are. So first of all, to the Vanua, Sita um, Vuki, uh, thank you very much for the uh, ceremonial welcome that we had this morning. And um, like I said, it, it is a very, very happy occasion. And again, as I said, he has a smiling face. So one boy really caught my attention. A very happy kid sitting here kept smiling at me throughout the program. I picked up from the, um, the MC speech about uh, how when TC Herald struck the, your island, the problems and the challenges that you face. But today we are all here celebrating the resilient spirit that we have. Wherever we are in Fiji, we are strong people. And I want you to know that. And you are very, very strong children. And we want you to grow up with these challenges and you lead our country in the next 10, 20 years. Right? So yes, it's a government school, but to the teachers here, this is your school. It is our school. To the parents, this is your school as well. So please take ownership of the school. And uh, I, 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 I note that it's a boarding school and I'd like to ask the teachers in charge of boarding, please take care of our children who live in the boarding schools who leave their homes. Uh, you have close to um, 123 females, 123 boys, uh, boys and girls in, the, in, in your hostels. And I'm sure you'll be glad to know that the girls' dormitory would be completed in the near future. So we are here with the Japanese delegation. One, can we all thank His Excellency, the, the government of Japan, and the people of Japan for thinking about new students, for thinking about Kandavu. So three schools in Kandavu will be rebuilt with the generosity of the government of Japan. And that is a great partnership. The government of Japan and the people of Japan have always contributed to the education, um, especially in infrastructure building across Fiji. And Kandavu, uh, your island, is the latest recipient of that help. So, Your Excellency, on behalf of the Prime Minister and on behalf of the people of Kandavu, not only the people of Kandavu, people of Fiji, we thank you and your government for forever being a friend to Fiji. Thank you very much. Please, uh, let, let me go to your exam achievements. I think you have done well. Um, uh, if you look at your results for 2020, I think the year 13 results uh, are not very impressive. To the head of school and to the parents and the teachers, let's improve on our results this year. To the year 13 students, please work hard. You still have a lot of time left for external examinations. There was a mention of discipline. Yes, discipline is very important in your studies in schools as well as as a student. So if there are issues with discipline here, 
I'm sure you, you, your teachers and your parents will work together to ensure that we bring you on the right track. Okay? You need to be focused. As students, you need to be focused. We are investing a lot of money in your education. And we intend to continue. We will continue with the free education from primary to secondary school. Right? So please do your best. Um, if there are issues, then I'm sure the school management and the, your head of school and the teachers will be able to guide you. If you have problems, feel free to come and talk to your te teachers. So discipline should not be an issue. So today, the, the Japanese government, through the Japanese embassy, is investing about close to $600,000 in your school to build uh, one by one by two classroom and of course the girls dormitory. Um, just bear with us for some time, one by three classroom and a girls dormitory. And hopefully um, by the end of the year or even before the end of the year, we expect the project to be completed. One of the things that we aim at the ministry is to ensure that we continue to upgrade infrastructure. We have certain schools, not certain schools, a lot of schools that are very old in structure. I'll give you an example. When TC Yasa struck in, in the north, you must have heard about that. A lot of schools got damaged. 32 schools got sustained a lot of damage. So we are now going to move into that phase of rebuilding. So I, I'm, I'm still aware that a lot of schools have done quick fixes, buildings have been, have been fixed, and children are in that classroom. Like I said, please bear with us. We will bring to you new classrooms, new furniture, and new resources. Because without that, I'm sure you will not be able to fulfill your potential. But what we ask of you is, see, good students, prioritize your studies, and inculcate good values. One of the values that we must learn uh, from uh, what your, uh, in initially what the MC said is about respect. Respect probably is one of the most important values that we want our children to have. Respect for yourself, respect for your teachers, respect for our elders, respect for our parents, and respect for your nation. Very much impressed about the three versions of the national anthem you sang. All three are talking about God bless Fiji. Whether you sing it in Hindi, whether you sing it in Itoke, whether you sing it in English, we are all saying, may the blessings of the good Lord be upon our country. So the lessons to learn from that. Challenges will come, problems will come, Hardships will come, disasters will come. But what do we need to do? Stay strong, stay united. Very important. So to the parents present here today, please teach your children discipline at home. When students come to school with bad behavior, indiscipline, when there's bullying in school, when there's stealing in schools, when there's disrespect in school, that is a clear reflection that we as parents are failing. So. Within our homes, let's teach values of respect, hard work, you know, being good to one another. We live in a country where we have different races of people, different cultures of people. So one thing that we must teach our children is respect one another and move forward. Do not, let us not judge each other for which religion we belong to. Let us not judge each other for which gods we worship. What, what we wear, what we eat. We are all one. Our aim is to ensure that Fiji is one and the people of Fiji are united. So as children, you are very powerful because tomorrow you will be the leaders of this nation. You may stay in Kandavu today, you may be here, but when you move out for your tertiary education, especially the year 13 students, so next year when you move to Suva and you move to other city centers for your tertiary education, you will see a different lifestyle. Different lifestyle, different groups of people. The ways of living is different. And city areas are mostly areas where, which, which attracts young people. So go out there. It's a beautiful world out there, OK? And achieve your full potential. You are all special, but you are, you are different as well. Some of you may become doctors, some of you may become nurses, lawyers, teachers, government officials. So you don't know where your future is. Start planning your future with your parents. What do you want to do? What career you want to choose? And how do you reach that? Commitment and dedication and the will 
you want to achieve it. So if we look at our police officer there, he must have decided on his career a long time. If you look at your head teacher here and other government officials, you plan your career. So to the students of Vunisea uh, Secondary School, my message to you is plan your future. Plan your future based on what you want to achieve. You could be a good farmer. I mean, I wish I could go and say, like, I want to be a farmer. Wow. A lot of money in farming, eh? No, Kandavu is some very rich people. But anyways, farming, agriculture is a very good career when there's a lot of land available. Not all of us can become teachers and doctors and lawyers and stuff, nurses. So choose what you want to do. To the parents, please start sowing that seed in your child's mind. What is the future? What are you going to do? What options are available for you? What scholarships are available for you? Year 13 students. I hope your career teachers will tell you what mark you need to score to get a scholarship next year. Times are hard. There was a mention of COVID. We don't know when our borders would open. But you do know that vaccination has started in Fiji with the frontline workers. So what happens in the international world, what happens in Australia, New Zealand, America, wherever, has an impact on us. And I'm sure as students of this very, very prestigious institution, your teachers are doing exactly that, trying to inform you what's happening in the, uh, uh, what's happening out there in the world. So keep up with, the, um, with that information. I hope we have our, our contractors here as well. And we have spoken to the contractors and we, we expect that the buildings that are going to be built will be built to withstand Category 5 cyclones. All the buildings that we are building, new buildings, are built back to standards, right? And so very shortly, you will have um, new furniture, you will have desk and chairs, library tables, 20 bunk beds for your dormitory as well. Okay, so these are good things happening, and be happy with that. So um, after this, we are, I, I'd also like to announce that the Japanese government is also helping us rebuild Kandamu Provincial and Richmond High as well. So here we are spending, uh, they are spending 600,000. In terms of Kandavu Provincial School, um, we, we are going to build two by three classroom blocks with a package which will come with 250 desks and chairs, dining hall and kitchen, two by dormitories for, for Kandavu Provincial, of course, and all, all the package that comes with it. And then we are also looking at Richmond High. So there are three schools that the Japanese government has adopted for Kandavu. And like I said, we are, we are grateful for that, Your Excellency. And um, what more should I say? Just, just, I know we want to go, um, move along with the rest of the program. But uh, once again, to the students, right? please stay focused. You are good children. Remain good. Discipline should not be an issue here. I don't want to hear complaints about bullying in hostels, please. It's very common. It's common. Hostels, wherever they are. So we don't want bullies in our school. Okay? If, if, you, if you bully any of your uh, students in the hostel, especially the prefects and stuff, there's strict punishments for that. Your parents will have to come and take you home and then find you another school. We don't want that. We know children here are good children, aren't they? Very good. Are, are we? No, I didn't hear that. Are we good children? Yes, Nando. And shall we say no to bullying? Yes. Just say no to bullying. No to bullying. No, 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 no. I didn't hear that. What, what are we going to say? What are you going to say? I, I, I can't hear you. I'm deaf in one ear. Say no to bullying. Okay. Bullying comes in many other forms. Yes, getting somebody's food, not allowing the kid to finish the food, or assaulting, or beating, or saying nasty words. And it's a common practice. But to, to our hostel students, please be good to the other students. You have left your homes, and you've come here to study, and just do that. To the teachers, if you do find out that there are bullying happening in your school within, 
the school or within the, the, the hostel facilities, please bring it to the attention of the parents. Okay, bring it to the attention of the parents. Do not hide it. Because we don't want children suffering in the hostel. We want you to feel safe and secure and peaceful away from home. Right? And that's what we can do. Okay, so thank you very much. I must end by saying you have a very, very beautiful island, very resourceful island. Grow your own food, eat healthy, stay healthy, and, and what? And have a great year. Year 13, year 12 students, please prepare well for exams. And I'd like to wish you all the very best to the year 12 and 13 students. And may we have a lot of topper students from Bunisia Secondary who will come and study in Suva and uh, who will help the, ease the financial burden of their parents. To the teachers, I, I know it's difficult to stay away from home. For those of you who are away from home teaching here, I'd like to thank you once again. And I'd like to thank the head of school and the admin team for your leadership. So with these words, thank you once again, Your Excellency and your team. Thank you, teachers. Thank you, Vanua. Uh, thank you, Ratu, for having us here. God bless you all, and thank you once again.